Today at Ericsson, we're showing how 5G experience will evolve both consumer and industry experiences. To start with consumers, I want to highlight how does this impact a very important aspect, which is the healthcare. This is a 5G connected ambulance. And here, it's evolving the experience thanks to 5G, but not only 5G. Today, our IMS system, IP multimedia subsystem, carries a voice, video. But we're taking it a notch higher to manage the data information of a healthcare system. So, in here, we have a connected ambulance over 5G um, with an ultrasound, remote ultrasound connects in real time uh, to the hospital. So the medic in an ambulance now can diagnose, thanks to the remote uh, doctor, actually um, uh, do on-site uh, inspection or uh, investigation of a problem, possible problem with an accident and then act maybe route the right ambulance to the right hospital. So uh, we're gonna try now to do me an ultrasound, a remote ultrasound, and see how does this work. So we have the patient in the ambulance. The paramedic is very good at what he does, but he's not a doctor. He can help him with the basics part, but for the more advanced parts, he needs to connect to a doctor. Over Ericsson's 5G network and our IP multimedia services. We have a video session set up with the doctors in another location. So here we have a doctor that is located in a, in a completely different city, but he still wants to help the emergency case in the actual ambulance. As we are suspect, the paramedic is suspecting that there's a blood pulp in the patient's hand. So what we have set up from Ericsson is over our network, there is a voice session, a video session, and our, over our IMS data channel, he's able to steer the, the doctor's, the paramedic's hand in the actual ambulance. Voice session over Ericsson's 5G network. We have a video session over Ericsson's 5G network. And through our IMS data channel, we have enabled touch and feel over the network. And by this, we'll be able to save lives in 5G. Example of 5G for industry is remote operation. Here we have a, a real uh, operated, remote operated um, uh, Volvo machine that sits 30 kilometers away. Um, from this location, I can in real time operate it. So um, if we can move it left, right, and up and down, all in real time, as if I'm sitting inside the machine while it's 30 kilometers away. This is how the technology would evolve, the, even how do we interact with machines into a safer environment.